Another brand has decided to do a Girl Scout cookies collection. First, it was Native with their body washes and shampoos, deodorants, but now we have a makeup collab with Girl Scouts and this is by Hard Candy. So it's affordable, you can find it at Walmart, and I picked up a little bit of everything to try out for you. So I picked all this stuff up in stores. It also is online on Walmart. I'll have the products linked down below and in the YouTube shopping here if they are available. But I thought I would just go over everything that I picked up. So I didn't buy the full collection, but I bought a little bit of the main items. So there is three eyeshadow palettes that are in the shape of like a little cookie. So I actually picked out out this one. It's the Girl Scout Mint Explorer, which is inspired by Thin Mint Cookies, which is one of my favorite Girl Scout cookies. And I just thought the colors in here were the cutest. This is also a fun, like, St. Patrick's Day palette, but I just liked how it had a lot of neutrals and, like, browns and then some pops of green. There is a mix of shimmers and mattes, and there is a glitter shade as well in these palettes, and these retail for $10. I will go ahead and insert the swatches of this one for you. I have tried Hard Candy Shadows before, which I thought were pretty decent, so I decided we'd give this a try too. They also had the Coconut Caramel Palette, which I'm going to do a fun shop with me soon where I'll share everything in the collection as well, so be on the lookout for that in the next couple of days. And they have the Trefoil Palette as well, but the Thin Mint one definitely kind of caught my eye the most. It was like the most neutral. There's also a primer in the collection which looks like this. It has little cookies on the packaging, but this is the Girl Scout Refreshment. It has a metal applicator that feels really cold to the touch, so this has like a very cooling, chilly effect when you put it on the skin. And it actually comes out green, but it blends almost to like a weird tint although I didn't feel like it really tinted my skin but it does have a lotion consistency maybe it just adds like more of a blurring effect so it did seem to be okay for me once you kind of blend it in but if you're more fair than me or deeper than me I'm curious to see if this is gonna lighten your foundation or what's gonna happen with that this also does have a minty scent to it they also have a mascara in the collection this is the Girl Scouts indulgent volumizing mascara it's called Girl Scout cookie batter this one just smells like a normal mascara and it has the cute little cookies on top of the packaging and it is a brown mascara. It has a nice flexible wand with a hourglass shape and lots of like spiky bristles. This mascara is only $7 so most of this whole collection is almost all under 10. We also have a couple liquid highlighters in the collection. So I got the lighter one which is the Girl Scout Cookie Icing Luminous Highlighter in Truffles. This one also is scented. It does smell very sweet and it's a beautiful champagne glowy liquid highlighter. And there is a deeper shade in the highlights as well. They also had a few of these lip products called the Girl Scout Cookie Glaze Velvety Smooth Lip Color. I also got the Truffles one because it just had the most neutral shades. But this has a very warm kind of nude undertone and it has a nice kind of shiny finish to the lips. I actually really like this formula a lot and this is the color that I picked up which I believe was the lightest shade. There's also a coconut caramel one and a thin mint which are a little bit deeper browns. And then lastly we have lip oils which I did buy all three of these because I do like the hard candy lip oils it's their same normal formula but scented like Girl Scout cookies so if you didn't like the scent before because I, I think a lot of people had an issue with the scent of the original lip oils these are slightly better but they didn't really nail it unfortunately I feel like they smell a little bit like chemicals I don't think they got the scents great except the mint one but there is three of them in the collection so I suppose I could swatch just one of them so you can see but they're not tinted at all uh the first one we have is the trefoils one and this one I don't know it kind of gives off a sweet scent but it's very light and it still kind of smells like plastic in my opinion but this is what it kind of looks like on the skin so you can kind of see the formula it is a very liquidy oily consistency like a true lip oil if you guys held these upside down the product will drip out they're not as thick as some lip oils are the thin mint one definitely has the best smell i feel like it's hard to screw up mint though so it's like a chocolatey yummy thin mint and then we have the coconut caramel which this one it's okay. It kind of smells like coconut, but I'm not really getting a true cookie scent. 
I think the coconut is just too strong um, in this one in particular. So I think the Thin Mint one kind of got the best of the scents. So that's everything that I picked up. There is some fun little accessories as well in the collection. Again, make sure you check out my video in the next couple of days where I'm going to show you the whole display and everything. Or you can run to your local Walmart or on the website and see what they have available. But we're going to test everything out. I have everything on right now and I'm going to let you guys know how these products perform and what I think about them. So we're going to start off this tutorial with the primer here. This is the Girl Scout Refreshment Canvas Primer. It says Frozen Chill Tip Applicator. I always like to eat my Thin Mints frozen, <laughs> so that's funny. It says need a cooling refresher. This is all you need. All right, let's try this out. Oh my goodness. It does have the cooling tip. Do I just apply it on the face? Ooh, wow. <laughs> that's really cold. Oh my gosh. I didn't think it was gonna be like that. Is this just me or why does this have a tint to it? <laughs> it like, it goes on this green color but then it kind of turns almost yellow. I think that color is kind of going away as you blend it but this is definitely scented like mint chocolate. It does look very pretty but it is kind of like, I don't know, heavy on the skin. It's not super lightweight since it is that kind of thicker lotion like material like it feels like i put moisturizer on while that sits i'm gonna actually skip on over to the eyes and i did pick out the thin mint palette too i feel like we're all thin mint themed here but this was the colors i liked the most i was looking at the trefoils one but i think this one just has the most workable colors in my opinion here is the inside so it has kind of the most neutral colors to work with and then a pop of green which looks very glittery i don't know if i love that i don't know if we'll be using that but we'll see we'll see what happens so we're going to take this bk beauty 211 brush and i'm going to go ahead and dip into this lighter matte brown let me grab my little mirror i'm using my garfield mirror from glam light these do have more powder kick up they're a very soft formula that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing it's just really easy to blend so that actually is giving some good pigment but yeah definitely tap the excess off before applying so that you don't get any fallout. Now going in with a little bit more of a bigger brush, this is the BK202, we'll go into this darker matte brown. I'm putting that in the outer corner here. Just how I typically do what my eyeshadow looks, I always like a darker outer corner. And again, these are a soft powdery formula, so it might be one you want to kind of build, but this is how it looks just on its own kind of blended out we can see if using a smaller kind of flat brush helps build more pigmentation of course kind of tapping that will definitely help deepen that up i'm going to take some of the excess along my lower lash line here with that same color might need to dip into a little bit more. All right, let's do a little bit of this kind of satin bronze shade on my lid. I'm gonna use my finger for this. These aren't the most shiny metallics. They're a little bit of a drier formula. It's fine. It's not like the most metallic shimmer. Um, I aim on, let's just, let's see what the glitter looks like over it. But yeah, this is just green glitter. I don't know if I love that. Not really loving how that looks. I'm gonna try and spread that into the gold. Next, I'm gonna add this kind of icy pearl color and kind of place this in the inner portion. Actually, this kind of has a green shift to it. That's pretty. So here's kind of what I came up with for the eyes with this palette. I feel like it started off strong with the mattes, but it just kind of left me very underwhelmed with what we have going on. Okay, next I'm gonna put some foundation on. I want something a little more lighter coverage, so I'm gonna use the Dior, the Backstage, with this primer, since I do feel like this primer, you know, is a little more on the thick side. So I don't wanna use a ton of foundation. This Dior foundation is just one of my all-time faves. And I'm gonna clean up under the eyes with this Makeup Forever Concealer, clean up some of this glitter I have, cause it's kinda all over the face now, cause I didn't use a glue or anything, which I guess that probably would have been a better application is using with a glitter glue. 
And yeah, it's not moving. It's just all over. Let's try out this mascara. I was very curious about it. It's their Indulgent Volumizing Mascara in a Dark Chocolate Brown. Love me some brown mascara. Um, and it says it's Girl Scout cookie batter, so I wonder if this is also scented. It does have the cookies in the packaging, which is really cute. But I've never actually tried any of Hard Candy's mascara, so I'm super curious about this. The wand itself kind of reminds me of the benefit they are real a little bit. Let's go ahead and apply this on the eyes. So far, this formula is very lengthening and separating, which I really like. And I really like the brown shade, too. It's a nice darker brown. So, so far it seems pretty good. I think the main issue I could have is if this does um, smudge at all or transfer. Because I do have that problem a lot with trying mascaras. But overall, I do like the formula i'm all about a good lengthening lash so i went ahead and did my cheeks and the next product in the lineup to try this is the luminous highlighters it says girl scout cookie icing in truffles really cute packaging on this one this one has the cookies all over i really like their liquid blushes that are in this kind of wand applicator so i feel like i'm gonna like this as well what i like to do with these i don't like to apply liquid products directly to the face so i'm gonna put some on my hand look at that glow though oh my gosh and then i'm gonna use a brush this is the sigma f64 and kind of blot this on to the cheekbones and I think I'm just going to do one swipe for both because this is a very blinding highlighter. And yeah, we don't need like a ton of product, but that does look stunning. That might be my favorite product that we've tried so far. It looks like it might remove product a little bit with powders. And I do have powder blush on right now. So I'm just adding some of that back in because yeah, I guess just be a little bit careful with that. Maybe I should use creams because it does look like it is kind of moving the product a little bit but overall it's a very beautiful color on the skin and blended out it gives it a little bit more of a natural look all right i do have quite a few lip products because there is lip oils in the collection and also these velvety smooth lip colors so i do want to put this on first because the lip oils are all a clear color anyway but this just looks like a gorgeous color so again this one is the trefoils one which is the most neutral. I should line the lips probably first, but here is. This does have like an orange tint to it, it looks like. So I'm gonna line with the Huda Honey Beige lip liner. And this one's really creamy. So I just kind of blended my lips together to blend that, and then we'll go in with the Hard Candy, which this has a really nice shine to it. Okay, so the lip color is cute. This is a little bit more warm for my liking, but I like this formula. I like the shine that it has, and it definitely seems on trend with all the different lip kind of gloss sticks that are on the market, but not as shiny, but it has really great pigmentation. And I haven't used any of the caramel cookie ones yet, so we'll use the lip oil, the caramel, coconut caramel it is, on the lips, which is just gonna give us a clear shine. Unfortunately, it kind of ruins the applicator, but you can use these on their own as well for just a hint of lip oil. Um, their lip oil formula I have tried. It is an oilier consistency, so it's like a true lip oil feel. It doesn't feel like a gloss. It's very slippery. So here is the finished look. It actually looks quite good all together. Now let me share with you my thoughts so far after trying everything. All right, so I have worn these products for almost three hours now. I can't do a full wear test today, but I will definitely let you guys know in the description box later tonight how everything has held up. As far as the primer goes, I think it's a fun concept. I love the smell of it. I have had issues with the applicator though um, not wanting to stay super well flopping off a little bit messy so it's just not really sitting right I don't know if you guys could tell so I don't really love that aspect it did feel kind of thick um, as a primer so I feel like I would rather just kind of use a moisturizer instead and get some more benefits and more long wear 
benefits too so it doesn't feel like I have so much product on my face. I do feel like my foundation is already getting a little bit greasy and already starting to break up with this primer so I think the primer is just a no-go for me. As far as the eyeshadow goes I don't like that they included these chunky glitters. They're just hard to apply. I feel like everyone's kind of over that in makeup and we don't really want those chunky fake glitters and it doesn't even have a very good gel base and it just kind of messed up the eye look and kind of gave me some bad feelings towards this palette but if I didn't use that I think I would be happy with the look we got today they don't have the most ultimate sparkly metallics but I was actually very impressed with this almost duochrome shade in the palette it's like that minty white duochrome it's actually so pretty on the eyes and the mattes are a little on the softer side a little lighter but you can definitely build them up and just having a darker metallic green instead of this glitter I think would have definitely improved things for me and I I think all of these cookie palettes have that glitter in them. I'm just over the glitters, so brands, please stop putting them in your palettes. The mascara so far has worked well. It hasn't transferred. I like how this looks on the lashes. It gives a lot of length to the lashes, not a ton of volume. It can clump up a little bit if you use too much, but overall, I'm pleased with this, and it's a very nice brown drugstore mascara. I do really enjoy this liquid highlight. Um, I definitely need to try this again, just because I do feel like it moved my blush a little bit, so I would maybe try this with a cream blush instead of a powder one since I did already set the face or use it before I even set the face in general because I always usually set over my foundation unless I'm using creams but overall this has a really nice kind of beaming gorgeous highlight and it applies pretty easily on the cheekbones. These velvety smooth lip markers are beautiful but they do not last very long on the lips. Like I said this is only about two and a half three hours of wear and I feel like the color has already disappeared with this and I just have my lip liner left over. So that actually kind of disappeared very quickly and I didn't even eat anything. I did have a soda um, in a can so that could have taken some of the product off but I thought this would last just a little bit longer but I think also pairing it with the lip oil might have made it wear down a little bit faster. And then for the lip oils, I definitely don't think you need all three. I just really wasn't overall impressed with the scent of them which was the main reason I purchased them because they are just a clear. I think they have a decent lip oil formula if you want that really slip lip oil feel um, but I would just maybe pick up one. Like I said, my favorite was the Thin Mint for the scent. So overall, this collection seems to be very hit or miss for me. Of course, I love the fact that everything is $10 and under, so I can't be expecting these to perform as high-end products, but I also don't keep stuff in my collection that I don't love and I don't think I will use. No matter what the price is, it has to still be a good product for me to enjoy it and want to use it. I think just my main winners in the collection is definitely the highlight the mascara and you know just pick up one of the lip oils for funsies of course they have the fun accessories as well like little nails some cute clover powder puffs and some headbands so overall it's a cute collection like a fun novelty kind of item but i don't know if it's really a must have but maybe you know if you're really interested like pick up a couple of things see how you like it but everything does seem to be very affordable in this line but that's gonna be it for this video just thought i would go ahead and film this since i had seen any videos on it yet and I was really curious how this would perform. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys find it in your stores as well if you're planning to pick anything up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.